Hello everyone, uh, my name is Diana. I'm the manager of Ayakhanat High School of Burabai and many of you do already know me. I'm going to be in charge of your English language preparation. Still, I have to say that your success in learning English depends on you and your desire to learn. So I highly recommend you to spend at least 30 minutes or one hour every day on learning English uh, to be able to prepare yourself for the next academic year. Uh, now I will quickly tell you about the resources that we are going to use during our preparation. The first one is uh, the WhatsApp group and Telegram channel. Always check these two for the weekly assignments so, so that you will be able to accomplish all these assignments in time. The next one is group Skype lessons. I will uh, create the Skype lessons for you only if it's necessary. For example, if I see that um, many of you are making mistakes in past simple, I will make a lesson on past simple and um, some of you will have to be able to um, participate. The next one is uh, you will receive feedback and extra tasks via WhatsApp. So always check your WhatsApp and make sure that you read and answer my messages. And the last one is Rust Plus. This is the most important and the main resource that we are going to use. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about this resource and I want you to use it and register right away after watching this video and ask me questions via WhatsApp if you didn't understand something. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to access um, RAS Plus and every single one of you should do that. So go to your browser and then type in rasplus.com. It's over here. Don't forget about the hyphen, ras-plus.com. So, and then you will see this page. This is not your profile. You don't have to use it. I want you to click on kids logging. This is what you are going to use. Okay. And now you can see that you have to type in teacher's name. I will give you uh, your teacher's name via WhatsApp. So please check it. So my teacher's name is this. Okay. And I say go. And I can see my class. Okay, so all of these people are my classmates. There are around 30 of um, the classmates and I have to find my name over here. So, oh, okay, here's my name. I click on it and then it asked me for my password and um, I, I enter my password and this is the password that you're going to receive from me also. So again, please check your WhatsApp and I will send you your password. So go. Okay, and this is how your profile will look like. This is your working space and this is what you're going to use all the time in order to accomplish all the assignments that I sent you. Okay, so now I will shortly tell about every single part of this profile and we will start from the reading assignments, which is one of the most important ones. So we click on reading assignments. You will receive reading assignments every single week, so please check this part of your profile all the time. Okay, so these are all the readings and tasks that my teacher set me to do. So let's say, for example, my teacher told me to find a book in the reading assignments, which is called um, Police Officers. She asked me to listen to, to read and do the test on the text. So the first thing I do is I go and start listening to the text. So I press listen button and then um, police officers. So the person over here, the speaker starts reading it for me. And very effective strategy over here is to listen to a person reading and then stop. Uh, I mean, pause the recording and then repeat after the person imitating their pronunciation. So let's press play. Written by Julie Harding. Focus question. Okay, so you see you can pause over here and repeat after the person and work on your pronunciation. So, and uh, let's imagine I finished listening to all the text over here and then I go back to my assignment. Okay, so now it's time to start reading to the text. So I press read button over here. 
So now it's time for me to read this text. So I open the text and start reading it and practice my pronunciation. Let's also imagine that my teacher asked me to record myself reading so that she can check my pronunciation herself. So this means that I have to use the recorder over here. I press record. Okay. I press start over here and then it starts recording my voice and um, after you finish it, this will be sent to your teacher and she can listen to your recording. So I stop recording. Also, if I'm not satisfied with what I have done so far, I can redo it and do one more recording. Okay, so let's also imagine that my teacher asked me to work with new words. She asked me to find 10 new words and work in the vocabulary work with, um, book with them. So let's say I don't know the word uh, people over here. Okay, I highlight word, uh, the word people and I add it to word journal. So um, to work with your word journal means to uh, find this word that you don't know, write down the definition of this word in English, find a sentence and provide several examples of the sentence with this word, also find a synonym to this word, and also find an antonym to this word if it exists. So, and then save the word. And after I finish doing this, my teacher can look at my word journal and check whether I did everything correctly and provide feedback if necessary. Okay, so let's close. And let's imagine I finished reading this book. Okay, let's go to my assignments. Okay, so my teacher also asked me to finish the test um, on the text. So I click the question button over here. Okay, and then I can see a lot of questions. Note that the these questions appear only after you've finished reading to the book. So um, let's say, let's read the question, how do police officers in the book help people? Okay, let's imagine I forgot the answer to this question. I can click on the book over here and the book appears again. So I can find the answer to the question, go back to the quiz and answer the question, okay? Uh, I don't know, they teach people how to be safe, let's say, and I go to the next question. So your job is to answer all the questions, and sometimes the questions are going to be open-ended, which means that you have to type in your answer. I will give you an example. So for example, in this book, oh, in this book, the question, the last question is open-ended, which means that you have to type in the answer. Uh, and also send it to your teacher, and again, your teacher can um, can check it, okay? After you finish, you press done over here. I cannot press it right now because I haven't answered all the questions, but you have to do that in order to be able to send your answers to me, and I'll be able to check them. Okay, let's go to back to my assignments. Okay, good. So sometimes you will also receive this type of tasks, uh, there are different topics. So, for example, this one is called Stated Point of View, and I click on it, okay, and it has a task for me. So, here I have to write down yes or no. So, you have to read it and see whether it's point of view or not. So, let's say the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California. This is not a point of view. This is a fact. So, I say no here. So, it's not point of view. Okay, so and I finish it and then I can check my answers and then my answers are going also to be sent to my teacher. So when you finish it, you check your answers. If you haven't finished, you just can go back and continue later on when you have more time. Okay, this is it in terms of the reading assignments. Um, let's go to the home page and look at another section which is called assessment. So this one is really important because this is how I will check your level, okay? So for example, sometimes I will have this assessment, sometimes I will not. So this time I have it and let's click on it, okay? It has a passage over here for reading and uh, if you click on it, it will take up to 15 minutes to complete all three steps of this assignment. 
If you do not have time to complete the assignment, stop now and come back to the computer later. Okay, so what this one says is that uh, this task will be 15 minutes long, which means that you cannot stop, go back, do it later. You just have to sit down and finish doing. It's like a test at school. So uh, it says, do you have time to complete this activity? I say, okay, I yes, I have 15 minutes. I click yes. And then uh, I have a text over here and you can see when I click yes, it starts recording right away. So it means you have to start reading the text right after uh, you open the text. So you don't have time to read and listen. You start reading right away. Okay. So let's imagine I finished reading the text and I press done over here. I finished recording myself. Okay, finished, done. Okay. Retell in your own words what you just read. Tell as much as you can remember. Click record to begin. So this one asks uh, me to retell the text again to check whether I've actually understood the text. So you have some time to think about what you've read before, but pay attention that you don't have a chance to go back to the text. So when you read the text, try to, try to remember and understand as much as you can. Okay, let's imagine I, I remember what the text was about and I start recording myself. Okay. Okay, so now it starts recording. And let's say I forgot one word and I press pause over here. I start thinking about this word and oops, it comes back to my mind. And I press record again and it starts recording again. So, and then I put, I press pause once I finished and then I press done. Okay, and then this one again asks questions related to the text, but again, pay attention, you don't have a chance to go back to the text. So, I have to answer all the questions. I don't know, I'm answering them randomly. Okay. So, okay, and I press done. I finished. You have completed your three-step assignment. You earned 300 stars. Okay, so I finished my assignment over here, my test, let's say, I go back to home, and you can see that I don't have assessment anymore because I finished it. Okay, so this is it in terms of the assessment. Okay, another important thing over here is the messages part. So if you click on messages, you will see messages from me or from RAS Plus. So uh, make sure you check them regularly because you will have some assignments from me that will be also sent through RAS Plus. So for example, here it says, hello, uh, please check your WhatsApp. I've sent you a task to practice as simple. Please do it as soon as possible. So please check this one also, and I also will be able to see whether you read my text message or not. Okay, really nice. Let's go back home. Another really important part over here is a level up section. So over here, you can see my level of English that my teacher gave me, which is K. So um, K is somewhere in the middle, the lowest one is AA, and the highest one is um, ZZ. So K is my level, and um, if you click over here, you can see a lot of books over here, which will help me to go from level K to level L. So these books were not set by my teacher, they are set by the RAS Plus resource, and you don't have to do that. But if you want to improve as fast as possible, as quickly as you can, my advice to you is to read these books because they are of your level and they will help you to move to the next level. So this one says 54 tasks left before I go to the next level. So if I want to jump to the next level, I can do it quickly, read all the text, answer the questions, listen to the text. So this is your independent work over here and everything depends on you over here. Okay, nice. Let's go back to the home page. Okay, these boxes over here uh, help me monitor my progress. Okay, so this one shows how many books I've listened to, how many books I've read and how many 
quizzes I have accomplished. So this one will help you stay motivated and um, monitor your progress, as I said before. Okay, really nice. So also Rust Plus has um, a lot of ways to keep your learning interactive. So uh, after accomplishing some tasks, you will receive some stars over here. So you can see a star zone over here. So I have 1,360 stars and I can use these stars to uh, do different cool things. So I can change a background of my profile. So for example, I like red color and I want my background to be red. And I decided to buy this red background for 200 stars. So press yes. Okay. I can use it also to build my avatar. Uh, every single of you will see your classmates uh, avatar so you can show off and buy really nice avatars over here so um, okay let's see I want a golden one and I buy it okay so you can play around and see how many things you have over here and change your backgrounds and avatars okay let's go back home Okay, really nice. And it also has badges. So after you finish certain assignments or accomplish something, you will have some badges. So I finished my first book and I received a badge for that. And um, the more you read, listen, you will receive the more badges you will receive. Okay, really nice. So I think this is it uh, in terms of your profile over here. So I've shown you uh, pretty much everything. Also, if you don't have an access to a laptop or a computer, um, there is a mobile version of, um, uh, of this resource. You just go to your Play Market or whatever you have. It's accessible for iOS and also Android. So you just type in uh, Rust Plus app and you can see an app appearing over there, which is called Kids AZ. I will provide you with a link if you need to. So no worries if you don't have a laptop or a personal computer. So um, please, if you have any questions, send me a WhatsApp message or call me. I will do my best to answer. So now what I want you to do is to check your WhatsApp for your, um, your pre-teacher's username, your name, and your password. So you will be able to start working in Grass Plus right away. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll be waiting for your response uh, and possible questions. Okay, bye.